Welcome to CSC Guru. In this session, we will discuss one more example to implement subset sum problem using backtracking technique. The problem is W is equal to 3, 5, 6 and 7. And the subset of sum we need to find is M is equal to 15. Find all possible subset of M and generate state space tree. Already we have discussed two examples to implement subset sum problem. This is the third example. So now we need to construct the state space tree to implement the subset sum problem. So state space tree will start with the initial value. So here in subset sum problem, initial value we will consider it as 0. So this will be considered as the initial state or the root of the state space tree. And here how we are going to implement the subset sum problem in the sense, consider each element in the given set. If you are adding this element with this initial value, what is the subset of sum we will get that? If you are not adding this element with this initial value, what is the subset of sum we will get that? Likewise, each level, one element we need to consider and construct the state space tree. So, the left side state space tree will consist of the element, if you are adding in the sense, what is the sum? And the right side state space tree is if you are considering in the sense right side levels, if you are considering in the sense, that is nothing but if you are not adding that particular element, what will be the sum? Okay. So, first consider the first element 3. So, if you are adding this element, that is with the element 3 in the sense 0 plus 3, we will get it as 3. The right side state space 3, if you are considering in the sense without adding element 3 in the sense, value will be 0 only. Okay. Now, the first element we have considered. Next, consider the second element. With this first level component, if you are adding the element 5 in the sense, what is the sum? And if you are not adding this element 5 in the sense, what is the sum? In first level, for both the nodes, we have to consider like this. Okay, that is with element 5 and without element 5. With this first level sum, that is 3. Similarly, here, with element 5 and without element 5. We need to consider and construct the state space tree. So, with the 5 in the sense, 5 plus 3, we will get it as 8. And also consider here, what is the sum we have to get it? It is 15. Okay. Without 5 in the sense, value will be 3 only. And with the 5 in the sense, 0 plus 5, value is 5. And without 5 in the sense, value will be 0 only. Okay. Next, consider the third element and construct the third level components. Okay. So, third element is 6. With the 6, without 6. Okay. Similarly, for this node, with the 6, here, without 6. And similarly, for here, with the 6, without 6. And here also, with the 6, without 6. Okay, so here with the 6 in the sense, 8 plus 6, it is 14. Our sum required sum is 15. And without 6 in the sense, value will be 8 only. With the 6 here, 6 plus 3, 9. Without 6 in the sense, value will be 3 only. And with the 6 in the sense, 6 plus 5, it is 11. Without 6 in the sense, value will be 5 only. And with the 6, 0 plus 6, value is 6. Without 6, value will be 0 only. Now, the third level component we have constructed. Next, consider the next element and construct the next level component. Next element is 7. Same procedure only. That is, with the 7, 7 plus 14, it is 21. But here, our required sum is 15. So, 21 is greater than the required sum 15. So, further if we are considering also, this may not provide the feasible solution. Okay. And this will be considered as a dead end. And without 7 in the sense, value will be 7 only. Okay. And here with the 7, 7 plus 8, it is 15. So, this is our required sum. Our required sum is 15. So, we got the solution here. So, this is one of the solution. In subset sum problem, more than one solution is possible by constructing the state space tree. We have to check the other solutions also. Okay. So, next, without 7. Without 7 in the sense, value will be 8 only. Here, with the 7, 
7 plus 9. Value was 16. And this 16 is greater than 15. Our required sum. This is a dead end. Further, in next level, if, we, if you need to consider the element also, for these nodes and all, it is not necessary to consider because it already reached the dead ends. Okay. Suppose, in this set, one more element they have given. And if you are considering for the next level in the sense, for these nodes and all, no need to consider. Since this is a dead end. Further, if you are proceeding also, we won't get the feasible solution. Okay. And here, without 7 in the sense, value will be 9. Okay. okay. And for 3, with the 7, value is 10. And without 7, value is 3 only. Okay. Similarly, for 11, with the 7, 7 plus 11, value is 18. And without 7, value is 11 only. Okay. And here, with the 7, 7 plus 5, it is 12. And without 7, value is 5 only. Okay. And here, with the 7, 7 plus 6, it is 13. Without 7 in the sense, value is 6 only. And here, with the 7, 0 plus 7, value is 7. And without 7, value is 0 only. Okay. So, now if we are considering in the sense, there are four elements they have given in the set. Each level, one element we have considered and we have constructed the state space tree. And from this, we are considering in the sense, only one solution we got. So, this is the solution. Okay. And the path if we are considering in the sense, this is the path. Okay. For this given problem, we got only one solution. Okay. That is with the 3 plus with the 3, with the 5 and with 7. Okay. With the 3, with 5 and with 7. So, we got the solution 15 and this is the solution. And this is the procedure to construct the state space tree to implement subset sum problem. So, each level we need to consider one element and construct the state space tree. That is the left side state space tree by adding that element and the right side state space tree not adding that element. What is the sum we will get? Likewise, we need to construct the complete state space tree and check for the solution. Okay. So, this is nothing but subset sum problem. Thank you for watching this video.